fire at Hanover Reserve was a nightmare for the owners and for the people who were there last night. But think about this. It's also turning into a nightmare for the dozens of couples who have weddings planned there in the coming weeks. Consumer reporter John Mattery spoke with a young couple now has to scramble. John. Yes, Tanya, if you've gotten married, you know how stressful weddings are. Well, now imagine you've just learned you have to scramble to find a brand new event center to hold your wedding in less than one week. This is Emily Hampton and Jaron Weaver in less stressful times. This is them today. I am panicking every second. 24 hours after learning their wedding venue has burned down. You think of the little things with cakes falling over and maybe rain. You don't think your entire venue is going to go up in flames. But that's what happened to the Hanover Reserve here in Butler County. These two fitness trainers who own Immortal Fitness in Hamilton now have to find a new venue in less than a week. Now we are going to try and plan a whole new wedding in four days. Of course, the easiest thing in a situation like this would be to postpone the wedding. But Emily and Jaron say they have so much invested in the cake, the food, the music, the photographer and all the people staying in a local hotel. They just can't push it back. What went through your so, mind when you saw this place is on fire? That we had a lot of work to do so, because I know she is very stubborn and there is uh, going to be no way that she would cancel the wedding. The couple is honored that other event centers are offering to help and hope to find a new site. So what can you do if your center closes suddenly? The website Social and Personal Weddings says contact your caterer and photographer immediately. They should know of other centers. Call your credit card. It can reverse the charges. If you paid by check, you'll have to hope the center is giving refunds, which is why credit card is safest. Emily staying positive. We are determined. It's going to happen. We'll do it. If she says we're going to do it, we'll do it. We're, we're doing it. <laughs> Great attitude there. Emily and Jaron say their troubles are nothing compared to what the owners of the Hanover Reserve must be going through right now. And they are praying that insurance covers the damage and that the venue can soon reopen. Tanya.